Just raise our voice to proclaim our faith. Christ the Lord for us has died. Dying He destroyed our death. Rising He Lord, our life, O Lord Jesus, we await your last return in glory. When we eat the Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Blessed be the holy and immaculate conception of the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made fresh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Blessed are you, Mary, exalted daughter of Zion. You are highly favored and full of grace. For the Spirit of God descended upon you. We magnify the Lord and rejoice with you. For the gift of the word made flesh, our bread of life and cup of joy, our lady of the blessed sacrament, our model of prayer in the synagogue, 
Pray for us that we may become what we receive, the body of Christ, your Son. Amen. Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, pray for us. For the unknown of Saint Joseph, O Lord, may the merits of the spouse of your most holy mother assist us, so that what we cannot obtain through our own efforts, we may have through his intercession. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Pray and horn of Saint Peter Julian Ayman. Gracious God of our ancestors, you led Peter Julian Ayman, like Jacob in times past, on a journey of faith, under the guidance of your gentle spirit. Peter Julian discovered the gift of love in the Eucharist, which your Son Jesus offered for the hungers of humanity. Grant that we may celebrate this mystery worthily, adore it profoundly, and proclaim it prophetically for your greater glory. Amen. Saint Peter Julian Ayman, the Apostle of the Eucharist, pray for us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to, to the Lord our God. God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Salve. 
strength of those who hope in you, who will that the Bishop St. John Chrysostom should be illustrious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering. Grant as we pray that instructed by his teachings, we may be strengthened through the example of his invincible patience. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die, and he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He deserves to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation, and he built the synagogue for us. And Jesus went with him. But when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and let my servant be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes. And to another, come here, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him. And turning, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When the messengers returned to the house, they found a slave in good health. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
let us ask ourselves where do we rely our capacity authority or our faith see the centurion man who is indeed described as a powerful man in Israel but not lying on his authority rather his complete faith in Jesus then what about us he doesn't even think that he's even worthy for Jesus to step into his home but this is the loving man he loves his nation as well his servant but still he feels that he's not worthy to welcome Jesus into his heart then what about us who turn the virtues into vices now living a strange lifestyle what then should we say? This scenario tackles all the areas, both marriage and celibate state. Because faith is a doing action, this is one day, our day to day living. The faith we have to things, persons, or even to Jesus Christ, though we need to amaze him. The aspect of unworthiness is a challenge to majority of us. Challenge in a way that at times we feel that our hearts or homes are worthy to welcome Jesus. But compare with this Sanctuarian man. Another challenge is of how do we take others, I mean the respect we give. Remember this man is described as a well of man who had even more thousand servants to take care of but he humbled himself in the presence of Jesus and whereas in these servants then who is our Jesus today and how do we humble ourselves to him or her of course we cannot know whether we have ever astonished Jesus but the person next to us maybe can tell just imagine making the Savior, the Redeemer, amazed. Personally, I feel it means something beyond. But what do we instead? We want to amaze our fellow human persons who even won't take us anywhere. I feel sometimes that we really have a longer way to the peak. Praising Jesus requires much of our self-awareness and that complete faith in him without having any fears over any situation just like the centurion also to put our whole lives under jesus the man hears to jesus and acts he is a doer and not a hearer only this centurion is the example of one who loves mystically like Jesus told us to love without expecting anything in return. We see in this scene one who loves his slaves. He loves those who despise and mistreat. He loves his servants. He also loved his nation of Israel. He furthermore loves those who are his enemies. My brothers and sisters, this is what we have to embrace. The next, the text teaches us about the power of Christ and the unworthiness of man. It shows us that Jesus is amazed when great faith is exercised. We also see that love transcends social ranks and that is Christian love especially. It's never too late, therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, to establish it in our communities or our societies. Our friend Sanctuarian had faith as he witnessed perhaps the miracles of Christ or heard the reports of his healing power. His faith was increased as he acted upon what Jesus had already given him. He saw Jesus, the perfecter, of his faith. When we exercise our faith, we can be in position 
to receive his grace. Let us therefore invoke the Spirit to guide us through this and most especially during this time where we have lost many of our relatives, friends, and so on, jobs among others. Remember, our only response to him is our complete faith to his beloved son. Let us take the example of this centurion, that is faith, love, humility, among others, without forgetting that no one knows the hour neither the day. Also to go with the words of St. Peter John Amad, that the Lord is calling me and you today because tomorrow will be too late. Amen. As the departed for the water, so my soul longed after thee. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee. We were told by the crowd 